www.bboxing.tv. Don't forget to send us your tweets via the hashtag. This is the main event of the evening. Please welcome the first of tonight's challenges for the vacant championship from VAC Hungary. Here is Zoltan Torad. You've got to sit down, guys. I know you're excited for Matty, but you do have to take a seat. Otherwise, you're going to waste your evening. It can't commence until you sit down, please. Thank you. Matty Ryan, the home fighter, is going to be making his way to the ring shortly when that cheeky devil, Michael Pass, <laughs> lets the fans know in the arena he's making his way to the ring. Just been told breaking news, Steve McLaren's got the England job again. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the pride of Middleton here is Absolutely fantastic football coach. VIP Boxing Promotions and Black Flash Promotions present Live Boxing from Oldham Leisure Centre. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live's energy tweet was sponsored by British boxers Andrew Covey Construction and White Mass Pharmacy tonight. It's the main event. I'm going to pass you over to Steve Lillis. Yeah, Matty Ryan, another one of uh, Pat Barrett's. Um, stable. I've never seen Matty with more box before, but he's one of the few fighters my wife knows a lot about. She, he, 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 Ladies my and wife gentlemen, works with Matty's wife or partner in next in Manchester. We so uh, my wife wanted to come VIP tonight to cheer him on, but she's at home with the kids. So uh, Flash I've, I've got to be honest, I don't know a lot about Matty. I've promotions. Collie Hurst and Moston Boston Club, Brian Hughes, MBE. Main event sponsors, Andrew Cowie Construction, building on reputation. White Moss Pharmacy. This is eight three minute rounds of boxing for the British Challenge Championship Super Welterweight Belt. The officials have been appointed by the Central Area Council of the British Boxing Board of Control. Once again, sitting proudly at ringside is Mr. Alastair Hayes. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the black glitch shorts trimmed with yellow and white. At the weight, he scaled 10 stone, 12 pounds, one ounce. Tonight is his 20th professional contest. He hails from Vak Hungary, presenting Zoltan Turai. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the silver spangled shorts trimmed with blue. At the weight, he scaled 11 stone, one pound, five ounces. His outstanding record this evening reads 11 contests, 10 wins. One of those wins coming by way of knockout with just a single defeat. The pride of Middleton, Team Ryan are in the building presenting Matty Ryan. Timekeeper at the bell, Jimmy Kirkpatrick from Preston. Referee in charge of the action, Manchester's Darren Sargentson. Eight three-minute rounds. 
Yeah, here comes Matty Ryan against Zoltan Tarai. Matty come back after a, a, a long spell out with a bad ankle injury. Last time out, he beat William Warburton. We were all there on the night. We thought it was a pretty decent matchup for a, a first fight back after a year out. But Matty was on his game. He was sharp and he just outboxed William. But we were just saying then, we're looking at uh, the Tarai's condition. He's small. He's not in the best shape. Maybe this is a time for Matty to stamp his authority, use his height use his reach and just try and walk through him, get a stoppage on his record. He might not have many better opportunities to do it, Steve. Yeah, well, Joe, Joe Selkirk stopped him, but Joe Selkirk is, is a good talent on his night, well, very retired. Um, and Jeff Saunders did him in a couple of rounds in his fifth or sixth time. But he went the distance with Nathan Veach last time, and one of Hatton's um, prospects, Anthony Upton, he went the distance. So, um, you know, it, it, if I was Matty, I, 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 would, I would go for Lever and try and, and try and make a statement here tonight. Everything's in his favour, size, everything. Looks like an angry Matt Lucas, doesn't he? Looks a bit like a Russian Matt Lucas. You know, Matty Ryan versus a, a Russian ultra Matt Lucas in there tonight. I, I tell you what, if you was on the rampage in Oldham afterwards, going around the clubs here, Tokyo Joe's or whatever it's called, and you saw him, you wouldn't be telling him you look like a, a Russian Matt Lucas. So <laughs> let's, let's have it. He's a baby. He's a baby. Nice kid, Matty Ryan, he's put a big effort in tonight to sell tickets. You know, Pat Barrett's put it on him, he's told him, you're top of the bill, get out there, shift some tickets, he's done that. Shifted some ringside tickets, you see all the Team Ryan t-shirts. It's great for the box, I love these, you know, these Masters title, they get a bit of stick, I love it. Alex Rutter, the 17th of September, he was going to be looking at boxing for one of them. You know, it helps the boxers sell a few tickets, it gives them something to take away from the career. He does get involved a lot. Does get involved a lot. I don't see where's the problem. Where's Come on, boys, don't whisper. Tell the viewers what you're saying. Go on, John. Uh, I just think that the journeyman who come over to do a job, he, it's not as if he's put his shell up back in a way. He's, he's, he's standing in front of Ryan. He's throwing the odd counter. He's, he's getting outboxed at the moment. I don't think there's any need for Darren Sargent to get involved there with a, a guy who's, who's just come to give Matty a bit of a workout, really. A bit, bit unfair. I mean, you know, he's telling me he needs to fight. I don't think he's going to understand what he's saying anyway. Yeah. Yeah, Matt, Matty was the um, the brains behind the infamous Black Flash Tesco's training session. He's done uh, the odd stint as a security guard at Tesco and he, he managed to get a little bit, they pushed away the barbecue fuel and the, the Tesco flowers, built a little ring out of the barriers you see in supermarkets and went through a full routine one Sunday morning. Looking at the hungover teenagers watching Michael Gomez Jr. skipping, it'll, uh, it'll live me for the rest of my life. But, Imagine Pat Barrett in Tesco's in between frozen Yorkshire puddings and Aunt Bessie's pizzas, whatever they are, you know, and flowers and... Is that the Tesco's at Middleton, did you Tesco's say? Yeah. Yeah. He's sitting on his punches here, right, and he's sitting on him, he's confident, he's letting the shots go. A few seconds of the round. Kind of going against type this for Matty Ryan. The only time I've seen him stand and trade with someone was Mick Mills. Mick Mental Mills, the most um, exciting journeyman on the planet, I think. That's the only time I've ever seen Matty dragged into a fight. But as you suggested, Steve, he's decided to put it on to Ryan a little bit. If he has a fight here tonight and keeps at that, that kind of pressure, getting inside, standing in the pocket and letting these shots go, he could, you know, he, he could well get the stoppage tonight. I'd be surprised if he didn't if he continues to fight like that. Look, if he keeps it long, you know, and just wins every round on points. You know the visitor is going to soak that up and survive. You know he's either going to stop him or he's going to win 80, 72 on points. When you want to take a point, the odd point off, there's going to be a knockdown. You can see the way the fight's going. But fair play to Matt, he's taking it to him, and that's what I wanted to see him do. He sold tickets tonight. You know he, he wants to try and make a statement. You know a lot of these people that are following might be coming to boxing for the first time Bonus tonight. So by giving them an exciting performance and a stoppage performance, they'll want they'll want to come back again next time. Time. Yeah, yeah. Built up a bit Second of momentum by doing a few two. tickets. You don't want to let it drop by putting in a going through the motions, do you? Let's see if we can get rid of him. You got to wonder if Nathan Vice had a, a bit of an off night last time, don't you? Being taken the full. Yeah. Anthony Upton also went the distance. We were Upton's not not a bad fight. And, and Paul Upton, I think Anthony's the, the better of them, isn't he? Yeah. Um,
tell you something, if I had his corner man shouting at me, I'd do whatever he was telling me to do. Oh, good left shot there from Ryan. Good left hand there from Ryan. Full, full two right back. Two right is at least trying to throw punches this round, John. He's not getting him very far, but um, he is trying to throw them. Matt, matty has got on the, on the end of that job there and just winning it, letting the shots go as he's pleased. And, you know, it's ideal matchmaking. This is the sort of match that been made for, to make Matty look good in front of the, 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 the fans where you sold a lot of tickets to tonight. And he's doing just that. He's got to keep it up, hasn't he? You know, if, if he sees uh, Tarai just starts to get a bit of a foothold. We don't want to see Matty go on the back foot and no. get behind his jab, do we? We want to see him make a statement and carry on pushing forward. He can make a statement. He's making it He's making it so far in style. You know, he, he, he's, he's landing with alarming accuracy. Two rise defence is, is, is very, very porous. It really is. It's, it's well, quite worrying, his defence. Worrying this guy's defence. You wonder how much more of this two I can take. You really do. Because I see Ryan just step to the side when he's throwing them body shots. The gaps are there. Yeah, I think instead of trying to make asking to I to fight, I think Darren Sargent should maybe be looking at stopping him fighting. Yeah. He, he, he's, yeah. He's so accurate. The other guy, Turai's defence is absolutely abysmal. Uh, not good, not good for your health long term. The number of shots he takes. Uh, but you know what? He tr he's trying and trying still too, right? But he's coming off second best throughout the round. his power tonight he's decided he's going to sit in there oh, two big left hooks there now the referee's got to have a look at you perfect stoppage that about four punches from the head from the end you saw um right right foot was actually lifted off the ground by a left hook that was a perfect stoppage can't complain with that performance and matthew ryan tonight he can be well pleased with it. Challenge title or not, he can call himself a champion right now. Yeah, I'm pleased for Matty Ryan. We needed to see that from him. I uh, say it's it, out of character in some ways for him to jump on someone like that. Really pleased for him. Look the part tonight and show just, just what he can do when he everything's in his favour. Really good, really good performance by Matty. Right, before we pass back over to Michael Pass, VIP Boxing Promotions and Black Frost Promotions. We want to thank you for tuning in for tonight's live show here tonight from the Oldham Leisure Centre. We've had some great tweets, we've had some great guests, we've had some great guys on the mic, we've had Jay Yates from Wales who sat there all night. We've been sponsored by British Boxers, we've been sponsored by Andrew Cowie Construction. Ladies and, and gentlemen, Matt just before Harrison. we get into the results, as, long, uh, as well as the usual entrances and exits, we've got an exit over there near the number five and also an exit there, number eight. Big shout out to Luke Evans, Emma Evans. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 57 seconds of round number two, referee Darren Sargentson has stopped the contest in his opinion. Result on today was in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner from Magnificent Middleton, Marty Ryan. Kurt Haslam. We'll present the championship belt <laughs> to the pride of Middleton, Matty Ryan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the team here tonight, Black Flash Promotions, VIP Promotions, thank you for your attendance. All the management and staff here at the Oldham Legend Centre. And I'm sure the thunderous puncher himself, Pat Barrett, would like to say a few words to thank you all for coming. A few words, Pat. Thank you for everybody for coming out and supporting this tonight. It's made it very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Safe journey home. Still light out there. Enjoy the remainder of your summer. We are back at the Victoria Warehouse in two weeks' time. It's a great night there. Come and join us. VIP Promotions, live and exclusive, at the Victoria Warehouse in two weeks' time. On behalf of everybody concerned, 
Have a safe journey home. Thank you for watching on VIPBoxing.tv. Good night.